CEO Ronald from Creating the Difference. I want to talk to you real quick about that shot, that sheen you see right there. You see that? You can see the sheen. We just actually got done pulling a bowling ball out of this detox here. And you can see that sheen. And everybody's like, man, that's a whole lot of oil coming out of a bowling ball. But here's what's interesting. Check this out. Actually, more than likely what's coming out of this bowling ball. There's some oil. There's no doubt there's some oil. But there's Texanol coming out of this bowling ball. So I got my man Abe here. I told him I'm going to put a little bit of Texanol on this cap right here. And I'm going to let him feel it and describe what it feels. I mean, you can actually see it. Though. Look, it looks kind of thick, right? This is the material that is, this is a plasticizer that is used to make a bowling ball reactive. So, Abe, what I want you to do is I want you to put your finger in that. I want you to rub your fingers together and tell me what you think that feels like. What does that feel like? Like oil. Feels just like oil. And the reason being is because it has a, it has a kind of a sweet, yeah. a sweet smell to it, too. But the reason being is that Texanol... You can see it, it looks just like oil. So Texanol, you wrap it on a bowling ball. It's gonna, I mean, it's gonna look and feel just like oil. But this, a lot of times, is what's coming out of your bowling ball. You are gonna pull out some oil, but here's the thing with oil. Oil does not transcend across the cover stock. So as an example, what I mean by that is the oil will only stay in the track area of the ball. It will not spread all over the ball and absorb in. It stays in the track area. So when you're seeing a bowling ball go through the detox and it actually gets pulled, it pulls out stuff from all over the surface of the ball, you're pulling out actually a lot of that plasticizer. Now what's interesting is the bowling ball is made with a lot of, with a lot of plasticizer in it. So you can pull it out. Um, you're going to pull it out anyway. It's going to evaporate out. Uh, the bad part is, is if a bowling ball gets enough oil pulled out of it, not oil, I'm sorry. If bowling ball gets enough are pulled out of it, what actually ends up happening to it is it dries up. When it dries up, you can actually have this happen. That's one of the reasons that bowling balls crack, simply because they dry out. Once they dry out, they become very brittle. When they become very brittle, they crack. So plasticizer is very, very important in the manufacturing of bowling balls. It actually allows the bowling ball to create pores. It allows the bowling ball to be reactive. It allows the bowling ball to do what it's supposed to do. But over time, it's going to evaporate out. Over time, with a lot of heat, you can actually draw it out even faster. And as you begin to draw it out, you can create some more issues, potentially leading to cracking like we just showed you. Um, that's also one of the reasons why we make good products like So Fresh and So Clean because So Fresh and So Clean actually is designed to be absorbed into the bowling ball and it actually is really designed to help replace this material in and of itself. So Fresh and So Clean is not actually a slippery material. It's a tacky material. As a matter of fact, hey, let's do, let's do the same test. Let's, let's do a, a similar type test. I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to have you put some on your fingers there. How's that feel? It's like slick at first and then it dries up and it's really tacky. Right. It gets really, really tacky. Exactly. So it actually is made to be absorbed in by the bowling ball to give you a really tacky feel, and that's why it lasts uh, for six games. Um, so that's that's one of the real things that we like to play around with when we're looking at looking at bowling ball development, especially when it comes to cleaners, is the ability to take and use the chemicals that are in bowling balls and leverage them the right kind of way so that the bowling balls last longer. So we actually are doing some really, really interesting testing. We're going to put another bowling ball. That's the bowling ball he's got right there. We're going to put that bowling ball in the detox. We're going to get some more plasticizer slash oil out of the bowling ball. And we'll actually get you guys be able to see how that performs over time as well. With that being said, we're going to take a little break. Let him drop this in there. And we'll uh, come back with some more information for you. CEO, Ronald from Create the Difference. Talk to you soon.